Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back in the UK and it's autumn now and I'm wearing a jumper. It is freezing here compared to Italy and I just have been feeling the cold so, so much, but I think I may have actually overdone it a little bit because I do feel quite hot right now under these lights. <laughs> so I bought a ton of stuff in Italy for the kids and I thought I would share because a lot of you are asking for a haul video and I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it all into one video because there's so much stuff that we got. They are so spoiled, like I bought way more stuff for them than I did for me but I honestly get more enjoyment out of buying for my kids than I do for me anymore. I just it's just not the same. I'm gonna start with Amelia's stuff and then I'm gonna do another video further in the week or maybe next week on what I got for Eduardo. Initially I thought that I had bought way more for Amelia than for Eduardo but now I feel like it's actually the opposite. I don't even know how that happened. Like I got so excited when we went into all the shops for like the girl stuff and then that Eduardo's was kind of like not an afterthought but it was kind of like oh yeah I need to get him stuff too. So I don't know how this happened but Anyway, there's this shop in Sorrento that is on like the main street and kind of like the high street and it's owned by an, they're not even older, like middle-aged couple and they're so sweet and we got her her pink coat, the one that's like she wore all the time last winter in there so we wanted to get her one that fit her this year as well. So we went in there and we got her this coat which is basically like an older version of the one she had last year. This is so super soft. The brand, it says Gfedi, Gfedi Club? I have no idea. It's kind of one of those boutique shops, so I don't really know any of the brands. I'm guessing they're all Italian. It's got big pockets. It's got this little thing at the back, and it was quite expensive, but like I said, the one she bought last year, she wore like all the time. We like to buy kind of like occasion wear in this shop too, because it has so many beautiful things. So we bought her a dress and I don't know what this is for. It's not for her birthday because we already have a dress for her birthday, but maybe on her actual like, maybe at Christmas or next Easter or something. I don't really know. I just bought it because it's stunning. This is what it looks like. It's kind of got like a bit of tulle like stitched into the fabric. So it's kind of puffy at the ends. It's got a cream bow. It's this lovely peach color and it's just so pretty. The fabric is like just to die for. I love it. Then I went into a more casual shop and I can't remember the name of the shop. I think it was something like horrible children or little terrors or like awful little creature. It was like something like that in Italian. I can't re exactly remember the name of the shop but it's on one of the side streets so I got her jeans because she needed new jeans she's kind of grown out of all of her size 2 jeans so I got her age 3 in everything and these are by Pepe jeans they are kind of like skinny jeans but they're stretchy and they're rolled up at the ends and they feel like even though they're skinny, they're not like a super skinny fit, if you know what I mean. Because her legs aren't super skinny and I didn't want her to be uncomfortable. And then I also got in a lighter color, like kind of like a faded wash, also by Pepe Jeans, another pair. And I just rolled these up, they weren't rolled up. Um, but these look really, really cute on her. I love them. And then this came with a t-shirt. I know it's not t-shirt weather anymore, but... I thought maybe she could get somewhere out of this and it had the Union Jack flag on it so I thought that was kind of cute. It goes really well with these faded jeans. Then we went into the best shop ever. This is like probably my favorite like boutique in there. The only thing is though, the first year we went in there, well last year, the woman was so rude to me. Like she was so awful. This year we went in and it was the same woman and she was completely different. She was really nice. So I don't know why, maybe she was having a bad day that time, but for, I will just never forget that. I hate when people are mean. I didn't really love the woman, even though she was really nice to me this time. I just felt like it was fake, you know? But they had some really cute stuff, so I had to, you know, I just, I couldn't help myself. The first outfit is from a brand called Aletta. And I love this outfit. So it's a kind of mustard top with this like ribbon detail, gray and mustard at the uh, neckline. And it's in a really thick cotton. And then it comes with these jeggings, 
or like leggings which again really soft they've got this stitching running through it and they're just like basic gray I love gray on Amelia and I love gray in general on children's clothes I think it's so cute and I love this set I just think it's so adorable and I can't wait to put her in it with a little gray bow next thing I got was this cardigan this is from Il Gufo and this is I think cashmere it must be because it feels like it it's just a cream cardigan but I thought you know it's got a little bit of sparkles in the pockets on in the front and I just thought this would go perfect with all of her ballet outfits you can just put a cardigan on top and it goes with anything because it's cream and I really really hope she doesn't get this dirty but she's pretty good about not getting things dirty anyway so I love this I just think it's really pretty for ballet on top of tutus and it's gonna look really cute. Then I got some dresses because Mia is obsessed with dresses. Like when I'm dressing her in the morning, all she wants to wear is dresses. And in the winter time, it's quite hard to do that because obviously, you know, it has to be warm enough and you have to wear tights and all that kind of stuff. So I got her some winter dresses. So this is from Il Gufo, again, it's size three and it's gray and it probably looks like black on camera, but it's actually navy. It's in a light wool material. And then it's got these two bows in the front and I just thought that would look really cute with either grey or navy tights. Then the next thing is another dress from Il Gufo and it's in this like petrol blue colour. This is in a heavy jersey material and then I love the little bows on top. I just think they are so adorable and I know Amelia will really like this and it's good. Um, because it's warm and cozy for the winter. Also from Il Gufo, this stood out to me straight away. In fact, I liked it better without the hood, but they didn't have it in her size, so I got the one with the hood. But it's the Zip Up hoodie in kind of like a taupey, like, actually no, it's not a taupe, probably like a stone color. It's got this gray bow at the side, and you guys know I love gray. And then to go with it, these trousers, which are gray, and they're not like, they almost feel like heavy wool trousers that are like, you know, fancier, like fancy trousers. I don't know how to explain. And they've got, they're rolled up at the ends with the polka dots. So it kind of ties in with, well, it's a set with the hoodie. This one, I knew instantly I had to have it. And if this came in my size, I would totally wear it. So this is the jumper. The brand is Lulu and it is quilted cream with a gold Paris on it with the Eiffel Tower and it's just so cute. I love it, I love the quilted detailing. It's got the quilted at the elbows as well and I'm just so in love with this. I wish it came in my size. And then to go with it, here are the leggings. They have this like rose print or like floral print. They've got elements of gold in them and then they have a little poodle a little gold poodle at the side here and I just love these like I love the poodle I love the Paris oh, I love everything these were kind of last minute like purchases for the holiday more so than like looking ahead to like autumn and winter so I didn't really know if I should include them or not but I'm gonna include them anyway so I got a bikini for her from Le Petit Bateau I love that brand and this is a very like modest kind of bikini for a little girl I feel like so it's got the I don't know if modest is the right word but basically I don't like the ones with the triangles on little kids or like babies I don't know I just think it's kind of weird because like the there's nothing underneath the triangles, but that's just my personal taste. I just don't like it on like little kids, but I don't have a problem with little toddlers or children wearing bikinis. That doesn't bother me at all. I know some people don't like it, but it doesn't bother me. But that's why I liked this top because it's just basically like a little vest that's cropped. And then the bottoms just have the little bows at the sides. And that's the swimsuit. She hasn't worn that one yet, but she's gonna do swimming lessons anyway, so, and she's gonna do more swimming during the year and we're gonna be traveling, so I know she'll get use out of it. The next one is a one piece. This is very nautical. I love the bow at the back and like the kind of like, the whole back of it is kind of open. And then um, it's just got the red anchor with hearts and it's stripey. You guys know I love stripes, so I had to have this one. And then the only other bikini that I found that I really liked was this one. This is navy and white polka dots, and it's got a little sparkly fish at the back. And then the top looks like this. So it's just straight across, 
and then it ties up here. I had to shorten it because <laughs> she's small. And then um, ties with a bow at the back. So that's that bikini. That's the only one that she wore on holiday, actually. And then the last thing she got are a pair of Crocs. So we needed something basically that she could wear to the beach and I actually wanted to get her Crocs for a really long time because even though I got it at the wrong time, I should have got them at the beginning of the summer, I was stupid. But basically whenever she's running into the garden, I needed something for her that wasn't like wellies and something more appropriate for the summertime. She picked these, she loved them, she wore them at the beach and they're loud and obnoxious but they were her favorite they were her choice so hope you guys like this video let me know what your favorites were and i will talk to you in my next one where i show you eduardo's stuff